This is Julie Callista, editor of Advanced Materials and Processes Magazine. We're here at MS&T 2012. We are on the exhibit floor here at the Kienz booth. And today we have Andrew Kamenek with us today. And he's going to talk to us about some of the microscopes that Kienz is uh, you know, showing here on the expo floor. So Andrew, take it away. Yeah, so we have two different microscopes that we're showing here today. Uh, we have our VHX 2000 digital microscope. And we also have our VKX series laser scanning confocal microscope. So these types of systems are used both for failure analysis, R&D, inspection applications, as well as for doing things like surface roughness, profiling, and film thickness. So the system that we're looking at here is our VHX 2000 digital microscope. So I'll show you some of the capabilities here. Great. So it functions just like a conventional microscope would, but this is a digital style system, so there are no eyepieces with this microscope. So everything we look at is going to be directly on screen. But with this type of equipment, what it's going to do for you, compared to a conventional system, is that you have a much more flexibility. We can actually tilt the system down to 90 degrees, oh, wow. and we can rotate 360. So you have a full range of motion, you can inspect a part very easily and quickly. Uh, and one thing you'll notice is that the system is designed to have a much larger depth of field. So focusing on an object is much easier than a conventional system. It's about 20 times greater than a conventional microscope. Definitely. But we can take this a step further as well. So if you're looking at an object that's got uh, a lot of surface texture to it, or maybe it's uh, if you're looking at something at higher magnification that's hard to focus on normally. Okay. So in this case... What we are we looking at right now? So right now we're looking at a trim pot. Okay. And we're just looking at one of the indentations here at 200 times magnification. So we can see that we're getting different areas that are in and out of focus. So with this microscope, we can actually scan through the different layers, and as it scans, it will take the in-focus regions and generate a composite image for you in real time. Wow. So right now, this is actually a motorized piece here, okay. and so right now, the lens is physically moving upwards, and as it moves, it's capturing the in-focus areas. So right now, we've got a fully focused picture. Great. And so we can push this button one more time, and we can take this composite image and turn it into a three-dimensional model. So if you're trying to get a better understanding of the surface shape, we can also measure on it as well. Pro Profile, volume, anything like that. Huh. Very neat. Thank you so much for your time, Andrew. Of course. Thank you very much.